Now let's add a mouth cavity. So mouth cavity, um, basically kind of the hole of the mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and select here. Press B to turn off soft select if it's on. And now what I can do is I can, with those faces selected, click on extrude, push straight back. And if I look at it from the side, I can see that it's starting to go back and I'm gonna kind of bring it back like this. And then I can scale straight. Aha, there we go. And if I look inside the model, so if I go again back to perspective and then um, perspective, let's see, yeah, there we go. And now if I rotate and kind of look inside of the model, okay, now I can see that, hey, this is where the mouth is. I can insert an edge loop here then if I double click on that edge, and if I scale this up, think about it if the character had dentures, this is where the dentures would be located. Okay, they would go into it. And um, now I can come in here, and to shut the mouth, I'm gonna simply do this. I'm gonna do another edge loop right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and scale that down, and that's gonna help close the mouth. And then I'm also going to kind of oh, scale it this way. There we go. And um, I might be saying, well, Dave, I'm not even seeing that. Why is that important? Well, I feel like if we rig the character or if we um, you know, do anything else to the character, if we didn't have that kind of established, it would... Um, it would not be good, right? We, we want to make sure that we have everything that we need part of the model um, before we kind of start moving forward into other areas um, of the model. So I feel like, again, that is good to make sure that we're nice and clean on that. So in other words, when we texture it and UV map it, uh, in other words, we can't, we can't add it later. You need to consider it during the modeling stage. Okay, now I'm going to click on this insert edge loop, maybe go here and think of this as kind of like the lips. Okay, excellent. And then um, again, if, if it's kind of harsh when it's out there, if I go to mesh display, soften edge, it'll look softer and smoother. Okay, cool. I think after the, you know that mouth cavity, I'm also going to kind of do some corrective um, things as well. Like I'm noticing maybe on the hips here, on the waist, um, if I double click on this edge here, I could probably um, maybe a soft select to get it slightly smoother. And then if I bring this in, I can see that it's actually a ways until it gets to the image. So I am going to kind of bring that in. Actually, it can go quite a ways. Maybe if I select this one here. There we go. Now I can see that it's kind of following the image a little bit tighter. Um, same with the ankles. I'm noticing that the ankles are kind of getting away from it. Not necessarily on this side, but if I like if I look at it from the side, from this view, I can see that it's really kind of getting away. So I'm gonna again select this maybe cor correct this a little bit. And I think that it seems like it's still kind of away from it. Um, and I can see that even if I push this back here, I think that I could afford to put another split in here. And I can kind of scale that and then kind of even go like this. Aha. And that's gonna help kind of give some shape to the ankles. Um, 
And I, I might need to also kind of give some shape to the feet as well. But I feel like for the most part, it's looking pretty good. Sometimes it feels like uh, it might be fine. And then when we start to actually kind of move it away, we can see, whoa, it's actually, that was way wider than I thought. There we go. So I feel like um, now we're getting some good shape there. Um, here, again, if I if I feel like I kind of disrupted it, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, definitely disrupted it. So I'm gonna double click. And if I scale uh, from the center, I have the, um, the problem of disrupting it from the side. But if I scale like if I scale with just this one here, the side one, now I'm only affecting that one. I'm not affecting it from the front in this case. Ah, uh, there we go. And if I needed to, I could have corrected that maybe with sculpting tools. And I think maybe I will. Or actually I can maybe come in here and maybe select this and maybe just do average vertices and then just press G a couple times. Kind of get that nice and smooth. Aha, there we go. Now I think that we're really getting some nice um, looking model. And if I turn this off, maybe we kind of uh, can start to abandon the uh, image planes. All right, looking great.